Good evening to all of you. I am Sister Corazon Bebozo. I am a Salesian Sister, a Vocation Director. I live in Surrey, BC, doing youth and adult ministry in the Archdiocese of Vancouver. It is my joy to greet you at the start of this Mass. The faith of the Filipino people is a gift, 500 years old, kept alive and strong by those before us. What does this mean to us? Like this Aguinaldo Mass, it means a gift to be shared. Jesus in our midst is the real Aguinaldo to be shared to people. Today, these days, we await His coming, the Emmanuel, God with us. One of the beautiful phrases most often recalled by parents, teachers, lovers, and friends is the phrase, Remember this, let us remember or don't forget. We remember to make memories that are beautiful and lasting and moving. We revisit these memories, which has become traditions that are experiences and they need to be retold and passed on to our children and children's children each time. They shape our character and our life. They are important to us. Our Filipino traditions create our identity and character as a people. To remember, lest we forget. Even Jesus used this word, remember, or in remembrance, at the Last Supper, to identify his supreme gift of the Eucharist. Do this in memory of me. So what do we remember in this 500 years anniversary? Firstly, God chose the Philippines to be the beacon of faith, the only Catholic nation in Asia. During those days of discovery, Philippines received three gifts from our first missionaries, the ivory bust of Jesus at Chihon, the image of the Blessed Virgin, and the Santo Nino. These gifts became our trademark as a people. What significance have they in our way of life? Jesus as the Eche Homo reminds us of his image before Pilate, truly man and God, suffering, composed, and divine. The Filipino people surely will have its share, like in Jesus, a share of suffering, poverty, pain, and trials as an individual and as a people. Yet in all this, we learned together to become resilient as a people, and always, we can still smile and start anew, a remarkable Christian virtue indeed. Then the gift of the Blessed Virgin, Mary's devotion has grown and become our perpetual help and inspiration of a life that is holy and ever ready to serve God and neighbor. The Rosary and Marian devotions have kept the Filipino strong and trustful in God's love. The Santo Nino de Cebu has entered our homes and shaped our outlook of children and youth. His presence reminds us that children are beloved, precious, the joy of families. <clears throat> Excuse me. Childlike simplicity has been acquired by many truly a beautiful virtue among our children and youth. Let us keep our children and pupils safe and nurtured in their faith. Like Mary in today's gospel, let us go in haste to help others in need. We can brave the distance and discomfort like she did to help and care her cousin Elizabeth. Like her, we bring God's love to others. Let us be courageous like her. Our tiny nation, the Philippines, has 7,100 islands divided by water. Our ancestors crossed borders. They braved distances, languages, and new territories. We Filipinos have connectedness as one of our gifts. We are able to adapt, and we always wear Lastly, as we prepare for Mass tonight, 
Let us remember we are like the bread held by Jesus at every Mass. We are a people taken, blessed, broken, and shared to the world today. Here is the challenge of our 500th anniversary. We can become the Eucharist each time for the life of the world. Let us give back the gift of faith, generously and joyfully. Then, Jesus will be born in our hearts and in the hearts of many. Merry Christmas. Thank you.